Greetings everybody and welcome back to Hot Bar Survival. My name is Sliced Lime and this is the game where we play Minecraft with only our hotbar as our inventory. We are back in our tower here and it is time to put plan B into action. I showed you last time how poorly our mob farm was working, it's not getting us the ender pearls we need. We need eyes of enders to open the end portal here so we can go kill the dragon. Plan B is to go find a village so we can trade for eyes instead of getting them through killing mobs. So I'm just packing up the stuff I think we need. We can grab some of the stuff to bring as offerings for these villagers. Some of them accept paper. The main thing we wanted to do... Alright, I'm tired. I'm just gonna plant these. Okay, let's go. Sleep away the night. Um, the main thing we want to do is find a cleric and unlock that all the way. That's gonna require a bunch of rotten flesh, first of all, I think. And uh, that's fine, we have that. But then we need a bunch of emeralds too, so hopefully we find a librarian who can also accept our paper. And there's also farms there, so we can have farmer accept all the their own crops. Uh, we should just plant this. Yeah, whatever. Um, so we're gonna grab basically all our rotten flesh and all our paper, and not as much, not much other stuff, and then we'll just go. Spider again. Uh, grab this, but here we go. Arrows there. Might actually want to bring bones so we can grow a lot of stuff there. <sighs> Yeah, let's do that. Let's leave our torches here. And let's get going. Get away from the lag. Alright, Rio, everything is nice and smooth again. Let's see, our, over here is the rest of the rotten flesh. A bit more than one stack. It's probably gonna be maybe two trades. Oh. There's an empty one. Nice. Uh, bones here somewhere. Bones. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. Uh, so that's pretty good. Let's go find ourselves some villagers. The worst thing is I have no real idea of where that village was. It came... It sort of came back this way, but I went out that way. So, it's here somewhere. <laughs> This, I believe, is a nightly hole that I built when bringing back the cows. That was a long time ago. <laughs> this is a fun episode. Horses. I still have not found the spawner, have I? I still haven't found any saddles. Interesting. Could otherwise be interesting to fish up a saddle, but I really don't like fishing, so let's not do that. I know I saw villages in the distance when I was out before. It might be this way. Let's probably go up on top of this hill here and check it out, see if we can see something. I guess this is the swamp that I went to. But yeah, not seeing anything else of interest. What about this direction? More swamp. Not much, but this seems like a more promising direction, so we'll go that way. Oh, look, cows. Ha. Huh. I went thousands of blocks to find some of your kind. Why is it so incredibly hard for me to find things in this series? Finding diamonds, finding cows, finding lapis even. Finding a spawner. All the things I've looked for I've failed to find. It's not usually what happens to me in Minecraft.
And yeah, I think we'll just keep running through the night. The only risk is that any village we find loaded will, will have been attacked by zombies, but at least I'll get some XP. Which is good. If we're lucky, we can get some ender pearls out of that too, so. Yeah. Had all these nice plans about not having to hunt endermen, but farming them. And that nice little farm we made, but yeah. It's not working out for us. Which is sad, I put a lot of effort into that farm and yeah. Put a lot of hope to that. I, it would have been nice to see it work out. 1200 blocks, negative X. Let's start heading positive Z. Oh, snow by him. Ah, oh, that was like a cartoon moment. He stood in mid-air and then realized he couldn't stand there and it fell. <laughs> I just want to find a village. I know I've found some before. Found two. One plain village and one desert village, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I should start making maps. Maybe that would help. I can't really orient myself in this big mess of a world. Ooh. Could have gone bad. I just want to find a village. Is that so much to ask? Ooh, hello. I'll take that as a result, though. One pearl. Oh! Drop that. Okay. Um, it gives us four pearls. We'll throw away some bones. Not as valuable. Praise of the day. Ooh, a pearl. Well, this rate maybe I'll get my pearls quicker by just randomly killing Endermen before I even find a village. This actually looks suspiciously much like the way I took home 
when I found those cows. And if it is, that's probably good, because there was a village somewhere in the distance when I went home. <sighs> Question is where? In that case, should be this direction. This isn't far from home either. It's not far from home at all. Yeah, you can actually see it over there. I'll just go back home and we'll start over. And deposit these ender pearls safely there. That puts us at five ender pearls. It's still an awful lot to go. We'll head out this direction. This is where I went the first time when I went looking for those cows. And I know, I know there's a village somewhere in this direction. I mean, I could just go back and look at the footage, but it's kind of cheating, isn't it? There's a desert for sure. I'm hoping that's the one. It's the funny thing here is I'm sure this world is like actively trolling me because when I was looking for cows, it just kept showing me villages and stuff all the time, tempting me to go look at those instead. And now that I'm looking for a village, it just keeps showing me cows everywhere. I know I was walking along the, the kind of the side of one of those dark forest places and saw it in the distance so it might have been here somewhere that is a desert at least Ooh. Ooh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, can make a lot of glass out of this come on village could be this direction too Try to go up on top of that mountain. See if we see something from there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's hope, 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 hope that there's still villagers in this one. They haven't been raided by zombies because I've been around and there's been activity. I know I waited out at night. In like a hole with my cows, and I'm just hoping that didn't lead to these guys getting all killed. <sighs> villagers, please. Oh, there are villagers. Great. Awesome. That looks like. What are you? You're a fisherman? String, coal, fish. You're getting none of that, I'm afraid. You, however. Yep. Oops. Yeah, we're just gonna go for that. Come on. So I can buy redstone or lapis from him. And we're gonna have to, to unlock some stuff. So I guess we'll buy a piece of lapis and just throw it away. Come on, unlock. Eleven. Ooh. Eleven. That is extremely expensive. Okay, well, you have some work to do. Let's see. Your weaponsmith, you want coal. Let's see, we have here. Please tell me we have a farmer. Somebody in here. Leather worker. Mm hmm. Nobody here. Come on. Weapons 
smithing it. Come on. Oh, there's another clerk. Might actually be worth unlocking this guy. Right. As far as I can tell, no librarian and no farmer. Are you a farmer? No, you're the fisherman. Dang it! That just makes this a lot less convenient. So, few options. If you stay here, we can try to breed those villagers and get the kinds we want. You'd head out and look for another village where we could find the materials to trade that guy what he wants. Which is mainly gold, to be honest. <laughs> We are about 500 blocks from home. Now, we're going to need to store the stuff somewhere. And there's a chest in here. And I'm not going to use it because that would be cheating. Uh, there are, however, uh, at the forge. I can find my way over there again. There are two furnaces. So we're going to use those for storage. I'm going to be okay with the fact that there are stuff in the chest in there already. I'm not going to bother about moving that or anything. You know, when I came to this village and I asked uh, these guys, what do you really want in life? What they said was, it would be really, really nice if we could have some more doors for our houses. Doors are really kind of the thing that makes life worth living. So I thought to myself, yeah, I might not be the best of carpenters, but sure, I can help. Look at this guy. Proud owner of the latest model of 25 door home. Hmm. And there you see it. Uh, they're starting to settle in. Think that, you know, this life is pretty good. Let's get these guys some food, too. You want some carrots, sir? You have some carrots. I know you like to eat carrots. Raw carrots. They're nice. Huh? Oh, hello. You're terrible. It's not what I wanted at all. Fisherman, come on. Get out of the house, do some work. Nobody's gonna notice. Slamming doors. Right now. Come on. A bit more space, I'm gonna go chop down some wood, and we're gonna make some charcoal. So we can put up torches and stuff around here, make it a bit more safe. kind of creepy. Like, do you always stand around and stare at people sleep? Is that what you do? That's really creepy of you. That and slam doors. <laughs> There's some force loving going on there. Oh, yeah, don't let me... Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Just give me a farm or two. Well then, this has obviously turned into quite a long-term project. I'm gonna grab some uh, charcoal here, light this place up. I'm gonna have to let that librarian grow up and stuff. So, I'm gonna leave off the episode here. Happy we found this village, but it's gonna take a while to get all of this done. So, I'll let that guy grow up until next time, and uh, then we'll come back and see if we can get the eyes of Ender we need. 
Thank you for watching Hot Part Survival. My name is Sliced Lime, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.